to Curiosity Stream for supporting this episode of SciShow. Go to curiositystream.com slash site. That's P-S-Y-C-H. To learn more. Every now and again, somebody claims to have been abducted by aliens. You know about this. Here on the internet. Considering we don't have any substantial evidence of life beyond Earth, almost everyone tends to dismiss these claims. But, hear me out, maybe we shouldn't. Because once you start looking I know false memories, uh, cultural narratives, but can any of this also explain race statistics? Okay, let's just think about this. If you really were abducted by aliens, you'd probably be thinking you're dreaming. But if it was any more down to earth, something, uh, an accepted reality, you're more likely to mistake it for a genuine memory. And one reason people also make up false memories, one, their me many memories are vague, but it probably did something that goes against their normal principles. They're ashamed of their behavior. Oh yeah, you need to call me out for victim blaming. Psycho shikes should also do something about not victim blaming or the point of blame and they're trying to deny uh, your brain analyzing what happened and what to do with it, do about it. That can actually make things worse. And really if uh, you just say Kuna Matata or somewhere is over or don't let it happen again, or don't let it happen again. The fear of victim fear of victim blaming causes a lot more problems. And the point of blame is not who should be punished, is more on what happened what to do about it. But then getting feminism, fem, your brain can only think emotionally. Or maybe just playing on everyone else's emotions. Boys more often, even if it's even if it's against their principles, giving in to temptation, they'll admit they again cultural narratives what they made a mistake. Even the first when they can barely remember and people say they did a lot of stuff, horrible stuff that he didn't do. Either way if it, if you are told you're a good girl, a good person, and you do stuff you regret. This can be a really it's easy to see why they need an explanation for it. And at least here in the Western world, there's a pretty obvious one. Still, there's a pretty big jump between I woke up feeling weird and I woke up on a spaceship, which I can describe to you in detail. Better detail than Christine Blasey Ford. This is the most credible part about alien abduction stories. These are the same methods used by SV and activists to get more women to come forward. The same methods used to convince you to be even abducted by aliens are used to get you to get more women to come come forward that they've been raped, especially the ones who aren't sure if they were really raped or if anything ever happened. Law, Law and Order SVU, they should is about those kind of tactics. They tell women who, they find out tell women they've been raped sometimes, or women who aren't sure that yes, you were raped, you're blocking it out. Just like with those trying to recover memories of alien abductions, same messes. As ancient astronaut theorists believe, you know, peer reviewed, people already agree with you. 
he will already say who are say rape is extremely rare are the ones who already start out with their conclusions. Giving at the phenomena of alien abductions even more credibility. More people have been abducted by aliens, men, women, and children, and yes, women, all have been abducted by aliens much more than those who claim they were raped by Cosby. How is 60 alone any more credible than 60 million people? 60 million voices saying the same thing. How can they all be false? Or oh, what? You're going to base your entire case on how can so many saying the same thing all be false? Well, if you're going to base your entire case on that, then how many proven false should it le legally take to logically conclude that they all are false? 60%, 80%, 90 percent? There are even similarities between Christine Blobby Ford and the research done on alien abductees. Up, like a 2002 study from the Journal of Abnormal Psychology. In it, researchers compared false recall and false recognition among three groups. One group never claimed to have been abducted by aliens. The second claimed they had been, but they couldn't remember it. And the third group also claimed they were abducted, but they had supposedly recovered their memories after something like therapy. In the experiment, each group... Just like race victims. Actually, well, more care than you. Yeah. <laughs> 